Hi Leo, the Awakened Dreamer here. To give you your money career tarot reading for the month of July 2021, thank you so much for joining me and I do want to take this moment of course to remind you as always to like this video, to leave me a comment about your individual situation, and of course subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. But uh, more importantly, when meditating on your energy overall for the month, of course in regards to the subject of money and career, the message that came through was moving towards financial security moving towards financial security and um interestingly enough when getting into your energy preparing for the reading i not only saw the time uh 222 on the clock but i couldn't help but continuously organize and clean up uh on the surface the desk that i'm working on uh, when i really just should have been jumping into the reading just something to keep in mind as you trickle through the month but uh, we're going to keep it simple by pulling six tarot cards, a simple six card spread for the month. For our lovely Leos for the month of July 2021, for their money and career situation. Money and career for Leo. Okay, I just want the one. Thank you, Spirit. For Leo. We are just going with these three right here. And we'll keep shuffling for the last two. For our lovely Leos, of course. My career for the end of July, if I could even say it. Thank you so much, Spirit. And we'll pull the remaining one right from the top of the deck. Okay. And we have the Eight of Cups at the bottom, as well as the Knight of Pentacles. There's a feeling that uh, I'm hearing things are moving too slowly for you, Leo, throughout the month of July, uh, or just in general, as you reflect on what's gone, as you allow for yourself to remember why you left a past job that was unhealthy um for some of you leos you're reflecting on certain unhealthy toxic jobs that you left in the past when you know that that was the right choice but then you were like well in your own head throughout the month of july well why did i do that and you know the answer to that already so why are you asking questions uh that you've already concluded uh, a while back Accepting the pace of things along the way as you reflect almost unnecessarily at times uh, is going to be key for you. Stay present as you make your way through what feels like a stepping stone month towards uh, an immense amount of financial security in your near future. So we're beginning with the Ace of Wands. Beginning the month, I'm hearing your mind won't stop. You feel somewhat peaceful uh, or appear somewhat peaceful to others around you, um, especially in your work environment, but you can't help but feel um, within a bit flustered or a bit chaotic, especially within your own mind. The spirit saying you need to slow it down, especially when especially when it comes to your mental state, allowing yourself to simplify it and uh, view things in a different way. You knowing that you're heading towards uh, success in your own way, but at times overthinking the past, the present, and the future. And to think about it for a hot second, almost contradicting what I'm saying and what Spirit's saying, um, that's not going to help you in the end. Allowing for yourself to receive certain downloads that come in from spirit at this point in the month to begin once again that uh, are to clarify what lies ahead, all the beauty, all the success for you within your career and finances, but also to fill in a few blanks that maybe have been stressing you out. You can hear I'm almost... I'm pausing here and there 
in order to receive certain downloads from spirit. But when I'm speaking, when I'm communicating with you, it, it's coming off almost a bit overwhelming, is it not? And spirit's saying you need to be aware of this as you make certain certain business deals or try to communicate with others around you through in general throughout the month, but especially in your work environment. Uh, given you don't want to overwhelm people or um, come off the wrong way. Your goals, uh, the completion of which are in sight, but again, to overthink them is not going to help you to begin the month. I'm hearing your approach will prevail uh, to begin the month. You may need a reminder from spirit in the universe or uh, those around you, which I guess is the universe, that your specific approach to a project or a job or maybe getting a job is uh, is worthy, right? Is going to work out in the end or prove worthy, um, given it feels like certain other people may be very opinionated or try to convince you otherwise. Something to keep in mind. Moving on to the King of Pentacles. As you make your way to the middle of the first half of the month, your confidence takes over and you feel the need to be more relaxed about what's ahead, about your current situation as well, even if it's not ideal. I'm hearing your finances take focus. Where in the beginning of the month, you were thoroughly overthinking or just thinking in general about your money and career, right? And the progress or lack of which within both categories. But it's to move into the middle of the first half of the month where you can't help but think about your money, but in a more confident, uh, content way. I'm hearing who's Leo? Who is Leo, right? It's this sort of, um, I know that I'm destined for this immense amount of financial security and I'm moving forward in a new kind of calm, confident way um, or maybe readapting that calm, confident manner and way of being, as well as, again, thought process, knowing that your financial security is on the horizon. For some of you, it's this point in the month where you start to experience certain uh, progresses, uh, horribly put, certain steps in the right direction when it comes to your finances, feeling as if your financial goals, the completion of which, are so in reach. Feeling quite uh, almost protected, in a sense, from your spirit guides at this point in the month. Not feeling it's difficult to get your voice out there, but at times um, being advised and uh, pushed to kind of uh, take a step back or question who you're expressing your ideas to, um, given not everybody deserves to hear them at this time. Or it may not be strategic to uh, express how you're feeling or you know share those ideas in that exact moment. There's always the right time, right? Ooh, well now I'm hearing your way or the highway. It's interesting because you make your way to this point in the month and now you're feeling as if you need almost a reminder in the beginning that your approach, your way is worthy. And now you kind of feel almost a bit stubborn about it where it's like, well, I've come this far and I really feel like we get to do it my way. I'm um, keeping this in mind if some of you have to work within a group setting, uh, maybe a group project. But for the majority of you, I feel like it's more uh, entrepreneurship or you just simply working a day-to-day -day job that doesn't entail a group setting, if you will. Um, but either way, just try to um, reel it back in just slightly as you kind of take a calm, um, content approach that you don't need to be so forceful when it comes to your ideas or your approach, that it, your confidence shines on its own and the almost allowing your ideas or approach to sell themselves, okay? Your confidence increases as the month trickles on, but your I'm hearing uh, your headache increases as well.
I'm also hearing don't overwhelm yourself over the details. You wrapping up or making your way to wrap up the first half of the month and uh, those around you feeling very opinionated or s stressing you out for one reason or another within your work environment while you personally are stressing over certain details within your career situation as well as your finances. Remembering that your confidence is growing, but it's like if certain things could fall into place a little bit easier, right? Or if certain people could stop stressing you out to a certain extent, but then it's like on top of it all, let's not remember or let's not forget that you are stressing over certain details or forgetting the successful future that lies ahead. And interestingly enough, did you hear the slip up I have when I said, um, let's not remember? Uh, there's part of you that was overthinking certain past jobs in the beginning, right? Or we were speaking upon it more so with the Eight of Cups here, those at the bottom of the deck. But then you make your way to wrap up the first half of the month and you feel like, okay, let's not, let's not remember uh, past jobs or let's not remember this specific one feeling like it was rough or rocky, right? Feeling like you come, you've come a long way and you can hear I'm almost struggling to get it out or um, express how I'm feeling about it. Given that thinking about certain past experiences um, make you a little bit nervous or maybe your boss or certain coworkers or just people within your work environment make you a bit on edge at this point in the month and spirit saying, Leo, stop it. Stop letting people get to you, you know, allowing yourself to center yourself, ground yourself, and remember that everything's going to work out in the end. Your strength will shine through as long as you allow it to do so at this point in the month, um, bringing us right back to this King of Pentacles way of being, but in a, a non-arrogant way. And I'm also hearing you can control how things unravel to a certain extent, remembering that destiny does play a part in how things unravel and sort of trying to go with the flow as well on a whole different level um, for this card. But to remember that you're sort of to try to go with the flow a little bit more will be a reminder that you receive at this point in the month. If need be, within uh, the bit of stress that you experience at this point in the month, you'll receive a reminder from Spirit and Universe that victory is yours um, down the line. I'm now hearing why stress. Why stress, Leo? When you know what lies ahead or you're starting to get certain blanks filled in or you simply intuitively know that financial security is yours, why stress? it feels like okay some of you are annoyed with how your business is progressing slowly or you are heading towards the ideal job for yourself too slowly or whatever the case may be maybe a promotion but for the majority of the leos drawn to this reading it feels more based upon financial goals that you're trying to reach feeling as if that's where it, the stress lies you needing to reach a certain financial goal to uh, move to a new residence or to uh, do this or that, right? Feeling as if uh, there's just a lot of pressure put on certain financial goals. And the Spirit's saying, well, who's putting that pressure on it? I don't think it's other people around you. It's you, okay? And releasing a bit of that pressure and uh, whatnot is going to help you release um, some of that headache. You'll minimize it understanding that there's so many factors around you at this time that could stress you out. So don't add any more onto your plate. And interestingly enough, we move to the second half of the month and spread with the Page of Pentacles. I'm hearing how stressed are you? It's to begin the second half of the month where you're exiting what felt like a very stressed out kind of part of the month when it came to the categories we're speaking upon. And so when you're feeling like you're going through a bit of a balancing act within your career choice at this time, or lack of which, you, you're being advised and pushed by spirit to ask yourself, well, why am I stressed out at this point? Or how stressed am I? And what can I do about it? 
right? Implementing more self-care outside or even within your work environment to minimize certain stresses at this time. Uh, asking yourself important questions to lead you to um, a fresh mindset or simply clearing out the mental clutter to view your situation in a fresh way. Feeling a bit somber or a little bit depleted at this point in the month, and feeling as if certain people around you expect you to be truly upbeat or just in an amazing mood and spirit saying be true to who you are and how you're feeling at this point, right? But all the while, once again, trying to view your financial situation in a fresh way, understanding that for some of you, you've recently started a new job or are making a way to do so. And how can you expect yourself to be uh, truly fast-tracked towards the completion of your financial security and goals um, when you're feeling, when things are starting new and fresh? And taking a fresh standpoint on all of which, regardless of where you lie within your career in general, um, in order to feel less stressed um, and to adjust your approach in a beautiful way. And being aligned with the Ace of Wands, when you find yourself overthinking, uh, just simplify things for yourself, right? Um, implementing meditation or your own form of self-care and um, just allowing yourself to bring it into the present moment in a simplistic way. Also understanding that to begin the second half of the month uh, in comparison to the first as well, you receive certain downloads from Spirit about your financial situation, about your career as well, but more so about the money success that you deserve moving forward and that you will receive. Your goals deserve attention, but not to the extent of you uh, feeling like a stress basket or feeling like you're going to explode and take it out on the wrong people. And I feel the need to mention now there's uh, some of you Leos out there who have a work environment where you have had to go back to it for a select few, but you'll be put in a situation where you'll have to ask yourself, well, did I confront this issue appropriately last time? And if I appro approach it in the right in the same way I did in the past, will I receive a different result? And you're probably gonna come up with the answer of no. But we're moving on to the Seven of Swords. And so you make your way to the middle of the uh, second half of the month and I was going like this on the table. There's a level of impatience that's coming over me. And I do feel the need to remind you in this moment that I'm a Leo son. So I get you, I feel you, I am you, to a certain extent. But so that you're feeling a bit impatient as you make your way through the second half of the month, you're feeling as if those around you are intently watching your every move within your work environment, or simply feeling as if um, people want to know more about your money moves or what you're deciding next within your financial situation, or again, even your career and you feeling inclined for whatever reason, maybe just simply based upon your past, um, to keep those situations sort of to yourself, right? Um, finding it difficult at times because people are just intently like, oh, Leo, I'm watching you, I'm watching you, I'm watching you. But you just kind of wanting to internalize and be like, I'm keeping all of which to myself, at least for the time being. Even if those opinions or people sort of striving to learn more are very loud um, and sort of overpowering your powerful Leo voice at this time. Tread carefully as to who you socialize with uh, within your work environment, given I feel like there's at least one person, uh, one individual, one energy that is not out to help you. Um, you may be going after the same promotion or they may just see the potential that's within you and not want you to kind of reach it. Um, it's going to be different for every Leo, of course, but your instincts, your gut feeling to kind of keep to yourself and maintain a level of secrecy is accurate at this time. Okay. And we're moving on to the alignment of the King of Pentacles. It's also in the middle of the second half of the month. 
where your confidence is proving worthy even when it's in a more simplistic way even when it's less apparent to those around you you sort of being in the spotlight in a very secretive way but also that shining in to those around you people starting to see your worth in a different manner or seeing your potential um shine even it's almost like when you don't want people to see it they see it Ooh, now I'm hearing get what you deserve and forget about the rest. And it's almost like pay no mind to the haters around you or the people who feel the need to pinpoint your struggles from the past or uh, minor details that pop up along the way that frustrate them and maybe not you. You feeling like uh, certain individuals within your work environment could uh, disrupt your any inner peace that you're trying to maintain at this time or bring back and spirit saying do what you have to do do what you have to do it kind of seems like the overall theme of this point in the month once again the middle of the second half or roundabout um for some of you leo's feeling like you are striving for more but at times taking a step back or yeah taking a step back in order to take two steps forward and just something to keep in mind as you uh, try to, once again throughout the month, be one with the pace, even if at times uh, it's feeling a bit too slow. And we're moving on to the last and final card, which is the Lovers. And so you make your way to wrap up the second half of the month and the month in general. And I'm here, why do you love money? Why do you love financial security? What does it really bring to your life or add to your life? How much money do you truly need in the future to feel happy? And uh, what part of the equation to overall happiness and fulfillment does it uh, play for you? I believe that was horribly put, but basically I'm seeing a graph in my mind's eye and it kind of sectioning off, you know, the areas of your life all adding up to fulfillment and happiness and you sort of being asked and pushed by spirit how big of a chunk of that graph is taken up by money and also in comparison where does your career success lie within that graph uh asking yourself these important questions or sort of trying to visualize the importance um of all of which moving forward helping you to take on a realistic view of your financial situation as well as your career. Is there a level of support within your work environment that you can feel proud about um, coming from other people around you for, you know, towards you moving forward? And if so, great, if not, okay. I don't know if there's much you can do to improve that, but as well, do you feel you support those around you? Do you love the state of your finances currently? Uh, it's at this point in the month where you're forced to kind of accept that what is, is, and can improve, but to feel frustrated to the point of not loving your finances in general is not going to help you at this time to wrap up the month. Me in line with the Five of Swords. It feels like you at times not loving your job or loving, you know, your career choice or where your finances uh, are at this time it leaves you a bit stressed or um, overwhelmed. Nobody fully gets the struggles that you've been through within your finances and your career, even if they've experienced some of which firsthand. Um, you feeling as if You've been through a hell of a lot, and it's time for you to experience the, su the success that you deserve, the financial security you deserve. And Spirit says, absolutely, Leo. It's on the horizon. And I'm hearing your time will come. Your time will come. Just breathe, my friend. Breathe as you do what's necessary to wrap up the month and try to, once again, maintain or gain a new perspective um, as you figure things out. Because at the end of the day, you're a Leo. And your financial security, your success, it'll happen, okay? 
So I hope this reading was truly helpful, my friend. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope you have the most amazing month, and I'll see you next time. Bye.